Welcome to Analytics with Max. In this video, we are going to discuss about is Power BI is really meant for freshers or not. At the end of this video, you will get answer whether freshers can go for Power BI or not. And why I made this video is because a lot of um, freshers are fresh graduates. Those who are learning Power BI, either paying in institute or online courses or studying in my YouTube channel, they keep asking me a lot of questions. That is why I want to make this video. With this note, let us begin our today's topic. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification. So what are the questions that came from uh, freshers or fresh graduates is that, Will I get a job once I learn Power BI? This no one can uh, assure you because uh, it depends upon how you learn, how much level of um, understanding you have about the tool. It's purely depends upon you, right? And I have learned Power BI but not able to clear interviews. Please help. I will help in this video for this question because how you learned and what are other things you should learn that I will clarify it to you. What other skills I should learn? The more or less uh, similar uh, topic. And I learned Power BI, but companies asking me questions in SQL, MSBI, SSIS, SSIS, SSRS. Okay, so Power BI alone is not enough. That is what I want to, uh, that's what people think about it, right? That is uh, more or less true. I will try to explain it and here it is no calls for freshers shall I keep fake experience so in my uh, opinion like uh, keeping fake experience is absolutely wrong uh, more or less you will be uh, caught somehow so if you are a fresher what is the definition of fresher I will try to explain it let's try to understand uh, why people are not getting these three points if you closely watch all are related to they are not clearing interviews they are need other skills okay because companies asking these skills so what are these let us try to understand it then we'll move on to my suggestion how you can crack the interviews or get a job so basically if you go through this conventional bi this is what a bi architecture because uh, i have done a lot of videos regarding business intelligence, data arrows, what is all those things. I quickly walk you through. You have a different sources, meaning like you have a diff business generates data from different sources. It can be cloud, it can be database. For that, they cannot read the data, I mean report it from individual uh, source systems. So they need data arrows, okay? So they bring all the data, then create a data arrows and if it is required they can go for modeling and then they read the report okay and here power bi also comes so this is the conventional reporting system where they bring the data that is etl part then do the modeling then do the reporting right and what power bi do that is self-servicing business intelligence that people claim right so if you see here power bi is over here in the previous slide data preparation which was done using etl that is power bi desktop then your modeling layer right and your representation layer everything comes over here right uh, which is nothing but see this is your uh, etl and modeling layer everything you can do it in a power bi desktop and for sharing and collaboration you do it in the power bi services okay then you will do the reporting in mobile application all those things so whatever conventionally people did the power bi now is capable of doing it all together in a single tool right so this is what it is so that is why it is huge demand most of the companies are moving but when you ask me out of thousand companies all companies are using power bi all companies migrating the they are destroyed all the um, infrastructure they have got over here like if you see here in the conventional system they invested huge amount in setting up the servers and databases 
for this they need to utilize it properly okay so slowly people are migrating to power bi okay so it is not all the companies are moving only few companies will do the trial and error method so once every company think like they don't want uh, the conventional bi everyone will go to modern bi architectures like power bi or uh, tableau or any other tools right then there will be a lot of opportunities huge opportunities now people are slowly moving and you get huge demand because there is no supply there is no uh, people are learning power bi there is no i mean basically the resource who has knowledge in power bi we are not getting in the market that is what the grace for these 2 3 years there was huge demand but now it is not the case no, more more people are getting into the market and those who companies started migrating to power bi they got enough resources now okay so it is going slowing down or it is like it is stable now okay this is the point i want to make now one important thing is like even though power bi does all the things okay this is how people are using it till now basically like uh, you see people already built data warehouse they built cubes from there or power bi directly take it from data warehouse or power bi directly take it from sources this is how currently they are doing so this is one department or entire uh, teams responsibility to generate the report to the management so assume like this entire team re responsible and if you learn only power bi who will do this data warehouse or ssas or these tasks still ongoing they cannot over the in one single day a one single month they can migrate everything to power bi right it takes years two years three years this migration project will continue so till that time you should have some skill to manage the existing data one or anything goes wrong you need to fix it so what are the skills required as you see here in order to move this data ssis is required in order to create the cube you need ssis and some kind of reporting services so all these things companies are existingly they are using along with power bi so that is why people required some database skills for doing the etl process they require ssis or ssas so these are the skills you should possess to get more opportunities that is the point now you are clear about uh, what uh, what is going behind the scenes why even though you learn power bi you cannot get a job because of this architecture all companies follow this architecture meaning like power bi alone cannot do wonders i mean even though microsoft claims people are slowly migrating so microsoft claims you use microsoft uh, power bi all the bi needs are done but people not believing it people are slowly migrating it for the new age companies they directly go for power bi but the conventional companies still use this flow they have a database they have a etl tools like ssis and cube building like ssas and reporting services along with that they also do some new reports in power bi and existing thing they slowly move on to power bi so this is why they need some person who already have all those skills so these skills are not for meant for freshers that is the core logic behind it all these technologies learning takes at least 6 to 1 year and freshers is not ready to learn the a long cycle and are also they do not have a ability to practice it that is the core problem now they are facing so what is the solution my suggestions are this first of all who is a fresher so if you are a college graduate from 2015 or 2016 i'm recording this video in 2021 you are not a fresher okay no more you are a fresher fresher definition who is recent graduate from the college it can be from uh, 20 now uh, previous year you consider may 2020 someone passed out till 20 next two years 2021 2022 may till you can be considered as a fresher then people won't recruit you okay this is the point number 1 i want to make 
then learn thoroughly power bi plus sql you just know just uh, you cannot pass the interviews clear the intro just knowing what is what try to learn power bi practice each and everything then you can attend the interviews i am saying you need to learn power bi plus sql that is the mandatory in order to get into the power bi jobs as a fresher then you need how you people can believe it if for experience there is no problem like they show cast like they have a previous experience of working in power bi so they know some reports how reports came into them uh, how the work experience they have they can show cast in the interviews and they can clear but for the freshers you do not have experience how you can get if you are college graduate you can say like for your school or colleges you did your report in power bi some cultural finance management you did in power bi or if you are uh, owning your business your father or someone is owning your business for them you are suggested power bi create that sample data and you project it in your resumes and you start posting it in linkedin or public forums okay that is the your work experience you should project so this is what a strategy you need to follow to get into power bi job then once you are done while doing all these things you learned completed everything you still not getting job don't lose your hope learn ssis plus data warehousing concept then you project this once you learn add these skills also in uh, uh, resume definitely you will get a job because the market demand is who those who know everything in this reporting cycle they will recruit them that is the point so this is my advice start power bi plus sql then once you can have add some experience by showing some business data if you do not have any business or nothing then uh, you need to showcase you can you can create some your favorite interest you can be interested in sports or you can be interested in uh, some finance right in that industry you get some data and create some sample reports you put it in a public forum uh, i mean uh, power bi community or uh, linkedin so all these things you can follow then one last thing don't keep fake experience fake experience is wrong something like you can whatever i'm saying here it's like you project yourself as a some ability to prove the skills right it is not fake it is not about lying it is how you can show cash your skills i hope uh, these uh, suggestions may help you to get into job so my conclusion is for freshers will get a job but it will take some time with this note let us stop this video if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries do remember that data is your asset